Chan saw it! I'm Yuri. Oh my. Ma'am, you look amazing in that dress. Oh, really? She's right. It looks great. All of them suit you so well. I'll soon be married to my lover, Katsura-kun. Katsura-kun is a kind and dependable person who I know I can trust with my life. This simple one looked cute, too. True. This one also looked really elegant. You're right. Thanks to him, I feel very happy. But one day... Package delivery! Coming! I'll need your signature and stamp here. Okay. Package? Who could it be from? <gasps> huh? Hiroki-kun? The package was from... My ex-lover who I used to be engaged to. Hmm. Um, is it possible to decline receiving this? Huh? Yes, it's possible. And I'm sorry, but could you please return this to the sender? Huh? Ugh, give me a break! It can't possibly be anything good! The reason why I declined the package was that Hideki-kun, I broke out with a few years ago, used to harass me in numerous ways! Morning! Morning! I met him in a society at university. At first, he seemed like an attractive and sociable person. But once we started dating... As soon as we began, he revealed his true self to me. So glad it became sunny! The forecast that it was gonna rain, but seems like it was wrong! <laughs> hey! Give me a damn break! Huh? I only brought an umbrella today because you said it might rain! Now I have to lug around this dead weight all day! Apologize, damn it! <gasps> um, I... I'm sorry... You think that's enough? Kneel down on the floor and apologize. He yelled at me for the smallest of things and even forced me to kneel in front of him. Hey! You were chatting with another guy yesterday, weren't you? You unfaithful bitch! Apologize, damn it! Prove to me that you're faithful! In his eyes, faithfulness equaled money and made me pay to compensate. Furthermore, he wore a kind of mask in front of everyone else, so I was the only one who knew his true nature. But despite all the horrible treatment, I... Uh, it's my fault. I should be more careful so as to not anger him next time. Couldn't escape his grasp due to practically being brainwashed by him. But one day... <laughs> my coat is wet! Hey, give me a towel! Uh, I'm so sorry! I only have a handkerchief on me! If that's okay, you can use... What?! You didn't even prepare a towel for a date on a rainy day?! Uh, I'm so sorry! <sighs> How useless can you get? I might have to rethink our marriage! You're so useless that it pisses me off! Huh? Wait! Huh? I'm sorry! Oh my god, Fred, so please! Get away from me! It's making my clothes wet! Uh, ow! Uh. Oh, jeez. Some heated drama's going on. I wonder if that person did something wrong. <laughs> Disgusting! Why are you so careless? Stand up already, you imbecile! Huh? What the... Seriously? What is that guy's problem? Isn't that psychological harassment? What a piece of scum. <gasps> hey! Hurry up! You're embarrassing me! Uh... Huh? Ma'am, is he your boyfriend? He's an actual scum of the earth, so you should break up as soon as you can. Just who do you think you are? You're so lame and obnoxious. <gasps> We're done here! Be sure to show me your remorse by the next date. No worries, there won't be a next date. <sighs> Scum like you can stay single for the rest of your life. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, thank you so much. There's no reason for you to apologize to a guy like that. That's right, just dump a guy like him who doesn't care about you at all. <gasps> okay, I'll do that. In that moment, as I saw him leave after being insulted by two high school girls, something inside me was wiped clean. And more than that, I finally realized how unnatural our relationship was from an outside viewpoint. When I told my parents about his true nature, it's what's been happening. What did you say? Hiragi! Thanks to my father, who works in the self-defense force, who paid a visit to his house, I finally managed to break up. And a few years later, I began dating Katsura-kun who I met while negotiating with a partner company. Katsura-kun also knows about my black history. 
So that's what happened. Uh, why didn't I leave that person sooner? It's embarrassing just thinking about it. I wonder why he decided to send you a package after all this time. I don't know. I just hope I never have to interact with him again. Has he not tried to contact you? Nope, I deleted his email and blocked him, so... Hmm? Oh, I don't think I blocked him on my Gmail. Oh, really? Maybe he sent you something. I haven't been using it at all, so... Um, <gasps> he did send me one. Let's see. What does it say? Hmm. What? what? After scrolling upwards, I realized Hideki-kun had sent over a hundred emails. As for the contents... How long has it been since we talked? I'm sure you've realized your mistakes, even with your minuscule brain by now. I bet you've cried numerous times thinking it's too late for regrets. But I'm an open-minded individual, so I'm willing to give you one last chance. Send me an apology letter by the end of April. I won't accept anything less than 5,000 characters. <laughs> it's past your deadline. Seems like you're as sloppy as ever. I'll extend it by three days. Hey, give me a break! It's been three days! Are you reading? I'll bring you to court, you pitch! Are you cheating on me, you whore? Testing! Testing! Alright, this is your last chance. I'll send you my mother's simmered cooking, so eat it and remember its taste. I'll forgive you if you manage to replicate it. I know you'll never be able to forget me. Feel free to return once you've realized your stupidity. Uh, what the? This guy's on another level! So that package was a simmered cooking. I had a feeling that if I showed this to my father, he might try to murder Hideki-kun. <laughs> so, I decided to discuss it with Katsura-kun. Hmm, you've told me what kind of person he was. But that's a lot worse than I thought. I'm thinking of deleting the address. But do you think that there's anything else I should do? <sighs> yeah, you do. Really? What is it? It might take a while. But could you screenshot each one of those emails? Uh, yeah, I got it! Following Katsurkun's advice, I screenshotted every single email. Create a group chat with members from my society back in university, and sent the screenshots to reveal his true nature. I had no idea! All Hideki told me was that you suddenly tried to break up with him. I bet. Back then, breaking up was all I could think of, and I couldn't explain the situation to the others. As such, Everyone assumed I was at fault, and felt sympathy for Hideki-kun. Ah, uh, hello? Hiragi, you bastard! How dare you lie to us all this time! <gasps> uh-huh. What are you talking about? Oh, cut the crap! We know all those emails you sent to Yuri-chan! We saw everything! <gasps> no! It's on her for breaking up out of nowhere! She's the one who suddenly tried to leave when it was all working out! Shut up, you two-faced bastard! More than anything, Yuri-chan's getting married soon! How dare you try to tarnish her happiness, you asshole! Uh, uh. By the way, I deleted his email address as soon as I finished taking the screenshots and moved earlier than planned to her new home. I doubt Hideki-kun could ever visit my house as long as my dad is there, though. True. A person like him only takes advantage of the weak while flattering the strong. But if he ever comes here... I'll send him away. Not through violence, but by the law. Katsurkun! Okay, thank you so much! According to what I heard from the society members, a while back, he was feeling depressed after being dumped by his girlfriend. It was in that moment when he remembered me and tried to recover a relationship. But the results are as clear as day. Worse yet, he now knows that my marriage and his feeling is depressed as ever. Oh well, not that it makes me feel a speck of sympathy. Also, but then... I actually became good friends with the girls who saved me that day. And we still meet up from time to time to have some tea together. Huh? So you decided to go out with him? Yep. Oh wow, that's so sweet. I have nothing but gratitude towards them for snapping me out of the brainwashing. Thank you so much. そもそも本来なら好きな人と一緒にいて楽しいと思うはずなのに怒らせないようにしないとなんて考える時点でおかしいのです。後から振り返ってみれば自分のとっていた行動が異常なのだとわかりますが、当時はこれが当然のことなの
おまけに身内や知り合いの前ではいい顔をしているなど二面性のある方ともなると信頼のある人から指摘も受けにくいでしょうしね何はともあれ身も心も壊れてしまう前に気づけてよかったです皆さんはどう感じましたかコメント欄に書いていただけると嬉しいですまたモラハラ最低だと思った方チャンネル登録と高評価をお願いいたします。